So good afternoon boys and girls Welcome to the Rev Bomb channel And we're out today on a VFR 750 and what a beautiful bike it is Absolutely beautiful I need to practice that I think So hello campers, this is the first I've been on the VFR since I did the Inverary trip with Grahams and Stephen and I actually thought I cleaned the bike pretty well but one thing I didn't do and it's all down to time constraints is ACF 50 it I know, I know Rev, tell me about it but I didn't have the time to do it but I should maybe have made the time even if it wasn't there and then I should have come back out and done it and I didn't thinking the bike was fine and it was white I came out today to go on the bike and the bloody bike was white all the black stuff was all white it was like somebody had poured the cabin of soda all over it terrible so it was and the chain was quite rusty so I've just spent the last hour and a half cleaning it down and thanks to John Diehard McLean who's an absolute legend he came to see me a couple of weeks ago to pick up a, a paddock stand and brought me all these goodies one of them being Kerazone to clean my chain and John, it works wonders it really does clean the chain not that I doubt would you oh oh I smell that don't know if you can see that on the road but it just stinks of pee! Oh, that's horrible! Ugh. So I've got a small errand to run today. <coughs> I won't be out for long. Now I noticed my chain had a couple of wee um, kinks in it <coughs> I managed to loosen them off But I don't know if I've loosened them enough I don't know if they'll start kinking again I cleaned them as best I could So I'm just taking it easy Because I don't know what the deal is I may need a new chain but I'll work away at it. I can feel the bike is vibrating slightly more than it would normally do but I'm thinking that might be because I've just been on the CB1000R or it might be because the chain's still not right so I'll just need to wait and see how things go so I'll take it easy I don't know if you've noticed but my speedo is now working I needed a wee nylon grommet thing that fits on the front sprocket which then the speedo cable attaches to that had totally rounded so that is now working I'm going to go this way through the town actually this is two deadly sins one not caught the bike in the ACF 50 before I put it away after a salty ride in the winter and two I haven't checked my tyre pressures God 
Jeez, what are you thinking of? That's a must, guys and gals. It has to be done. They have to be checked. They will have lost air. Maybe not much, but they will have lost something. So I want to go back a minute to what I'd said earlier about John Diehard McLean. If you don't know who John Diehard McLean is, his name is John McLean, just the same as the John McLean and Die Hard. So you can understand the reason why his channel, his YouTube channel, is called John Diehard McLean. Go and check him out. Good patter, good stuff, all round good guy. Well, here's the story. He was looking for a paddock stand. I had two, so I offered one to John. John, come and get it. How much do you want for it, sir? I want nothing for it, John. Just come and take it away, please. Is everybody just sitting here? What is the deal? Well, I'll just pass you then. Um, John, just come and get it. So we came to get it, but unknown to me, he brought me some goodies. And here's the stuff that he brought me. Just look at this stuff. John, he brought me this stuff. You know the instructions of how to use it. What a guy. And what me this, which um, means a lot to me. Very nice. But this has got to be the best thing ever. Which is this an original brochure from 1990 on the VFR 750 Gen 1 RC36. Original sales brochure. Look at that. Is that no awesome? A lapel mic. Double jacked mic. And some stickers. John and I had McLean stickers. Superb. Dear John. And I said, John, what are you bringing all that for? Now, there's two things he brought me, two things in particular which were very special to me. And that shows the kind of guy he is. Because he knew. He watches my channel. He knows what I'm about. He knows some personal stuff about me. Uh, maybe not lots of personal stuff, John, but you know some stuff. And he knew what to do and what to get. It's my choke off. So he brought me in that nice little patch that had 1992 on it, which means so much to me. The year is a big thing for me, hence the reason why the channel was called Lockwood 92. And he also brought me that brochure, that VFR brochure from 1990. Still looks as new as the day it left the press. And he went out of his way to get that for me. And I think that's pretty special. I don't think he loves me as much as Red Bomb does. But maybe he does. <clears throat> anyway. 
yeah there you go so I really appreciate it John as I've told you but I want the world to know just how much I appreciate it love you to bits man thanks very much there's so much I wanted to do this year with regards to the VFR but I just don't have the time and I don't really have the drive to do it at the moment the bike's running pretty well I'd like to get the carbs done I think they're alright but you do smell, and I know it's a carb you, you're going to smell fuel but I do smell fuel every so often not the now but I do smell it <coughs> right, I'm going to see if I can park up here somewhere Wondering, could I just park in here? Do you think? I think I might go away with it. I'm not going to be long. I don't want to park the bike. See, I can smell fuel now. I don't want to park the bike at the back because I'm scared somebody might steal it. But an Irvin, after all some weird clientele hang about the back of this precinct ok so I'm going to switch this camera off and take it with me because as I said we're an orphan Switching off, we'll see in a minute. So yeah, that's me. I'm just just at the bank. <sighs> Is it just here? But do you not find that? When you go into a bank nowadays, it's like, oh, I've not seen that before. It's like, the tailors are s like, s like car salesmen. As soon as you walk in the door, can I help you, sir? Ah, I'm just trying to put some money in. Oh, come on in, I can help, to help you do that over here, sir. I can do it myself. You want to just go off and let me just go on with it? I know what I'm doing. Okay, sir, if you've got any issues, you know where we are. Oh, I see you've got just a standard account. You would benefit from a plus account. <sighs> Listen, I just want to deposit some money. Can you just leave me alone? These banks are just getting more and more like that, aren't they? I think I'm going to change banks anyway. I've had the same bank account since I left school and got my first job. And I've never changed it. I just think it's a hassle to change it. But seemingly nowadays it's a lot easier to do it. And you can do a switch quite easily. I've never I've never thought about actually doing it, the hassle of doing it. So I don't do it. But I think I'm going to do it now. But here's the thing, what do you do though if you want to deposit money and you don't have a local branch? Where can you go? Can you go to one of these one bank places or oh, there must be somewhere that you can actually physically have paper deposited money to just go into a bank and just drop it in? 
Anyway, I'm waffling. I'm just waffling. Yeah, just a wee look at my chain there when I'd stopped. Oh, I've still not done my tyre pressures. Ah, oh, shite. Gonna have to do that. Even though it seems um, quite sticky, but I might go and get them checked anyway. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Speedo's looking good. And for those of you that may be interested, I now have my t-shirts in stock thanks to the Ayrshire Vlogster, Mrs Ayrshire Vlogster, who got these done for me. So I have a few in stock. Let me know if you want some. 15.99, 16 quid, delivered. I make nothing off it. Maybe eventually, <laughs> I'll up the price a wee bit. So that the money goes back into the channel. But at the moment, these are just coming at cost to you lovely subscribers or non-subscribers if you want one give me a shout they come black t-shirt with silver or a white t-shirt with black and both look awesome I think she slowed down for me there. You never really know who's got right away there. I think it's me. These are great now, you can just <sighs> tap your card nowadays. 36. See how far out they are. Oh, these are murder, aren't they? CP's got the wee ones that stick out, which are better. These ones are... Oof, tub is way out. I'm at 30. Oh, 38. Not bad. Seeing the weather's just so nice. It's so nice. It's just so nice. And a wee bike. Both bikes actually. Gotta be doing MOT first week in April. And with a bit of luck, both will just sail through. Anyway, I'm gonna shoot off. Folks, take it easy. Stay safe, as always. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh. Lockwood out.